Yep. Right, we'll show you around. So we've put the awning, well it's not the awning, this is the porch awning. Um, as you can see, <laughs> it virtually fills the whole van so I don't think we're going to need the awning. So we've still got the lounge windows uncovered. Uh, that's the skirt, so Lily, when she's inside, I'll just show you inside it just a second. So when Lily's inside, she can't escape. So this is inside it. Stay straight into the door, I've got the kitchen window here. So setting up with beers and that though, Dad. Gotta be done, on it? Yes, that's inside there. Well, I'll take you for a walk around the site. It's like a tenting day, Stephen. Isn't it? You'll be happy with that. Anyway. Oh. Look out the lounge window. That's the view we've got. Right, isn't it? So we'll have a walk down, and I'll show you the amenities and stuff. So we've got a car there. So say it's handy because we can let the dog straight out, straight onto there for a dump, lob it over the fence, fertiliser crops, job done, isn't it? Or we can just let them run on here. We've got a nice little area. It says no ball game, so we're going to have no chavvy kids um, playing football. See all these pictures, all different levels as well, it's lovely. To be honest, it was a bit of a pain putting the awning up because um, obviously it's all rock under here. So we'll look, I've got some rock pegs. But, yeah, there she all is up there, I like that. Anyway, carry on. If you want this video to be too long because it'll take a week to upload. So, I'm walking down. Uh, behind here is where you drop all your chemical toilet, you've got your dust bins, um, your grey waste and everything, so you won't want that pitch, looking straight on there and sniffing everyone's dump as it comes out, beautiful. So, coming on down. <coughs> so that there, Stephen, if you carry on around there, it takes you to, it's called the scum field, it's where all the tents go, you know, happen. So this is the lower area, this is where originally we wanted to go to be fair. Uh, well, it pitched 21, which was this one, which again is huge. Well, I think it's probably the biggest pitch on here. That's massive, that's just one pitch, it's enormous. But, you're just looking onto all these motorhomes and stuff. That's the only thing that put me off. Again, it's nice and high compared to the next pitch. So I'll we'll walk along here. Um, the road there goes up to where we are. <coughs> the other pitch we want is where that one diagonally facing us is, um, which is pitch number eight. We wanted that because it was on a corner, but but since um, we've seen the pictures, they've altered it because this here wasn't a pitch. This was a grass area, with just one pitch there. So it'd been like our own little garden, but now they've put another pitch in. So I'm glad, really. That's where I want it to be. It's a nice pitch here. We own a bit of fencing and stuff. Nice van tucked away down there. Nice little pitch at the bottom there. Uh, but it's next to the road. So this here comes down to as it says the shower block we'll have a look so for the lower level campers that's the Elson point there for your toilets so I've not been in here myself yet so this is all fresh to me so there's, no, there's nobody in here it smells lovely so you've got all your showers oh, it's lovely and warm in here all your sinks mirrors Happy days. Ah, right, isn't it? Traps behind there. Well, wee traps. Bob traps. Shelters. 
What's inside the showers? Come out of there, and we've got the unisex one. Don't know if that's yeah, that's just a big one. Is that one in there? Ladies, I'm not going that one. Uh, what's that? Boot, bike, and dog wash, pot washing, laundry. An area for spastics. It's always nice and thoughtful, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so we've got washing machines, tumble dryers, freezer, spastic playroom. What's that bit? That bit there goes up to the dog walking, so you just go up the path and turn right along there, and that takes you to where the dog field is. I've not been up there either yet. Bins are down here. So, for the scums, um, all the people tenting, they've got microwave here, coffee machine, and a nice little area for all to be. So, they are catered for, Stephen. So, we'll come back down here. It's a lovely block, isn't it? Happy with that. Not finished yet. Got a good bit yet. Drinking water, fire extinguishers, gas bottles if you need them. A little picnic area if it's raining so you can eat in there. Little picnic area. We'll come down here, this is the on-site coffee shop, which is now closed for the day. So you can see through the window, you can see in there. You need to do breakfasts. Uh, we're coming here Saturday night because they've got pizza night. Um, so we're going to come here Saturday. But yeah, all the gatox in there. Lovely, isn't it? We come out. And then we come into the reception and shop. I'll just pan it round because there's a bloke in here. Hey, uh, you alright? I'm just doing a quick bid. <laughs> <laughs> My dad likes to know everything. <laughs> there's, a, there's an issue in the whole area, including Paddington with broadband. Is there? So if you find, it's just come back on, but they've all been messaging on the neighbor for watching. Just if you can yeah. think it's down, that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Little goats down there. This is the actual Beechworth farm, because it is a farm that we're on. And there we go. Good, isn't it? Let's do a little shot of the shop and cafe, which is there. Like I say, bogs and that there. Smelly trap. Caravan hiding in there, that's overgrown on purpose because it says there uh, uh, this area is left unmanaged to encourage wildlife. I haven't seen any elephants or anything like that in there yet. It's not done that well. Uh, just before I sign off, I'll just put you onto the bottom, bottom level. Um, that number eight that we're going to have there, uh, this is one that Liz wanted as well, was here. Uh, which again is a nice pitch but the farm's right behind it which I didn't know if it was going to smell or not but it, it doesn't as it turns out and literally just there you can see the road so I thought it's a bit close especially if Lily gets out um, but again yeah, it's all wooded, a view, but you're just looking onto there. Whereas we are right up the top, obviously, behind that other fence up there. We get all the open views. There we go. So anyway, I've got port joining. <clears throat> no one seems to use these massive awnings. They all seem to be using these port joinings because 
And they're a lot bigger now than what they used to be. Literally just for like a porch, put shoes in. And like ours, it's literally three quarters of the length of the van. Um, then it takes 10 minutes to put up, whereas the other one, it takes about 45. So is it really worth it? Probably not. Um, as long as we use that skirt that you've just seen, that goes along and blocks underneath the van. Eight stops drafts coming in if you want to sit in there. Stops drafts coming in from under the van. And B stops dogs escaping. And here's the entrance to it. I mean, it's a really quiet road to be fair. So I suppose even if you were on that pitch that I just showed you. You know, there's no traffic. Um, and just over that brow there is where the A6 is. I don't know if you can see cars coming down over there, the lights of cars. That's where the A6 is where we come in. So that main road's quite a way. And there we go. It's a lovely spot. So we'll go back. and enjoy the relaxation. Caravan life. Where you been all my life? See you later.